Hey guys, Crewman here. And recently I decided to test out all of my CPU coolers. I know winter's ending and so, uh, spring's coming up and I hotboxed the whole farm. And that one, the AK620, was the only one that did even remotely up to par. All these other coolers were very, eh, to say the least. Even that one with the AIO did, did okay at best. I didn't even take the the fans or I didn't even take the farm that hot I only turned the fans off for about 15 to 20 minutes or so you can see it cooling down right there so this is not good so at CES I had a great conversation with deep cool about how their coolers I think are fantastic and could be applied to CPU mining after I did that test I had reached out to deep cool and I said hey your AK 620 was the best one that I have now I know that one costs you know a little more than all the other coolers I have it actually probably cost about probably $20 more, so almost double all the other coolers I had. So I asked them if they could send me out an AK400 and another and an AK620 digital. And they were kind enough to send them both out to me. Essentially, the point of this video is I already know how good the AK620 is. I want to try the AK400. Now, the digital models will both be a uh, factor in another video that I'm still currently working on. So I want to first thank the sponsor of this video, Deep Cool for sending me the coolers and I am very excited to test this one out. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hotbox my garage with the AK400 digital to see what the temperatures would be like before I subject it to my shed. And again, thank you to the sponsor of this video, Deep Cool. Their products are fantastic. I'll have a link down below and you can use code CRUITMAN10 for 10% off all Deep Cool products. All right, so 12 hours later, running the 3900X at about at full load, 97 degrees, the cooler didn't get above 84C. I was very, very impressed, and there was no airflow in this room, absolutely none, and it was about 110 watt load. All right, so I was very happy with the AK400. So I swapped out bad cooler that was in my farm, and I put the AK400 back in. So now I wanna do a more in-depth hotbox test where I actually let it run for a little bit and again get the temperatures. So you can see these are all pre hot box. The ones on the the right hand side, I'm sorry, the left hand <laughs> I'm trying to, it's funny when I film this. The ones on the left hand side are on the back row and the ones on the right hand side are on the front row. So you may notice a few degrees temperature difference in regards to that. When I hot box these, essentially I'm gonna cut off the airflow in the shed for about 30 to 40 minutes. So it will simulate the summer. However, in the summer, these things will be a little cooler because I will have airflow moving, even though it will be hot, it will still be moving air. Essentially guys, for anybody who's not aware, this will not be an exact test because when it comes to keeping your devices cool, you can do two things. You can either cool down the air or you can speed up the air. And it's a lot better to speed up the air than cool down the air. All right, you can see the farm right here in all its glory. And I just want to show you that it's about 90 degrees and we can see the results. So let's start with the one with the AMG Wrath Prism. It crashed. It didn't make it. I don't know exactly when it crashed, but it was way too hot. The Dark Rock PX4 in the front row was 83 degrees. Not that good in the front row. Um, the Thermal Rights Assassin's Spirit, I'm shocked it did that bad. It has two fans on it, but terrible. Uh, gonna, but we're going to be replacing both of those. The Deepcool AK400 on the back row did quite well, considering that it's, it, if you go back to the video, you could see it's nudged in between another cooler. So I was quite happy with its performance. The NZXT AIO did terrible, because uh, it's especially considering where it's at and it's on its own. I will be replacing that whenever I work up the courage to, uh, to take it off the CPU. Anyway, the, the, the PX4 in the back did not do too hot. And as always, the Deepcool AK620 did the best. It does have a double, it does have two fans and a bigger heatsink, but it did do the best. Now keep in mind, the, some of these temperatures will be about, I don't know, probably five to six degrees cooler when there's actually a good airflow. So anyway, basically what these results are telling me is that I will be swapping all of these out to Deepcools. I would probably like a mix of AK620s and AK400s. The AK400 is clearly the better, is clearly the best in terms of value, but for a few more dollars, the AK620 does do a lot of work. And frankly, if you think you're gonna have your CPUs in a hot location, it's hotter a lot longer than it's warmer. So I would very, very much consider swapping 
those out. Now do keep in mind, this is a sponsored video. Deep Cool did send me those coolers, but you can see the numbers right here. And I am very happy with the way the Deep, Deep Cool AK400 and the AK620 performed. Like I said, I'll probably be putting a mix of them. I'll probably try to put the AK620s in the, in the back and then the AK400s in the front. I'll have links for everything down below. And you can use code CRUITMAN10 uh, CRUITMAN for 10% off, which makes already good value coolers even better. And I will have an, a link down below. They are Amazon affiliate links, so they will also help the channel, but they will help you as well. So again, like I said, this video is sponsored, but I plan on replacing all of my coolers with deep cool coolers because you just look at the numbers. Uh, these other coolers, they weren't that much cheaper. I mean, the I got the Dark Rocks for, on Black Friday sale, but they're basically the same cost as the AK400s now. And the Assassins, while they're only like $20, you obviously get what you pay for at this point, and I will be removing those from my test bench as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I will be doing a lot more CPU mining content going forward. And thank you again to Deep Cool for sponsoring this video. Please like and subscribe. Crew man, out.